At Thomas Jefferson High School in Dallas ISD, we're going to start in the furthest back corner of the building, the home of the Patriots, doing some last minute cosmetic work. Principal Benjamin Jones, his staff and crews of contractors are busy setting the stage for Monday's big welcome as students return to a brand new school campus. We've worked really hard in our selections of some of the finishes and, and even the furniture to make it not only feel like a high school, but to feel more collegiate. Every inch of TJ's new school building was designed with community in mind. An EF3 tornado rocked this area back in 2019, destroying the old school and many nearby homes. The school's new gym and athletics wing now doubles as a storm shelter. Thomas Jefferson High School since 1957 has never had a space where the entire student body could be in there at once. And that's not it. Dozens of new classrooms have updated furniture and technology. The grand new library serves as one of the campus's focal points. We're so grateful to be back and it's so beautiful here. There are bright colors throughout the building packed with contemporary design and its new performance hall has the bells and whistles to rival any professional theater in town. Noe Marillo is a senior class president. The first thing that was going through my mind was it's a new beginning. And talk about new beginnings. Just steps away from the high school campus is the new Walnut Hill International Leadership Academy. The pre-K through eighth grade campus has several outdoor classrooms and inside teachers are excited about using every corner of this new building. Monday morning, I am opening the doors to families and students and a community who has deserved this building long before a tornado hit it. Well, contractors will focus on completing their final sweep of the building over the weekend as they prepare for students and staff to walk through those doors on Monday. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.